here for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I get a question for you. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word saltwater aquarium? I'd be willing to bet that you're thinking of a beautiful reef tank, maybe something that you've seen on Instagram that you're ready to recreate. But I'm here to tell you there's more to saltwater aquariums than just reef tanks. The whole other realm of saltwater aquariums is fowler tanks. Now, I have a special place in my heart because a lot of species that you keep in fowler tanks are not reef safe. So I'm going to go over some of my favorite species to keep in a fowler tank, as well as a couple reasons why maybe having a fowler tank will save you some money. So let's get right into it. First off, if you're keeping a fowler tank, you don't necessarily have to worry about a lot of the equipment that you would have on a reef tank. So things like fancy high-end lighting, you don't necessarily need a lot of that. Also, equipment like dosing pumps and media reactors. Chances are you probably don't need that either. Not to say that you can't add it on there, but the things that you really need to worry about when it comes to fowler tanks are, I would say, a good skimmer and some good filtration. And the reason for that is a lot of the species you're gonna keep in a fowler tank can tend to be predators and pretty messy eaters, so you wanna have good filtration on there. All right, let's talk about some of my favorite fowler species. Starting off with my top species, and that would be pufferfish. I absolutely adore pufferfish. They have fantastic personalities, kind of like an underwater puppy dog. They'll follow you back and forth across the tank, and they may even spit water at you if, you're, if they're hungry. So some of the puffer species that you might be keeping are the Mappa puffer, the Immaculatus, you could have a Stars and Stripes puffer, or even a Dog Face puffer, but there's a whole variety of them out there for you to choose from. Now, another fish that kind of has a similar behavior as puffers are triggerfish. I know a lot of people that love triggers, and I gotta say, the undulated trigger is one of my favorite, and that's a perfect species to keep in a fowler tank. But you can also keep ones like the bursa trigger, the humu, and even the niger trigger. Another group of fish that people really tend to love that are a lot of times reef safe with caution, or even not reef safe at all, and that would be angelfish. Now in reef tanks you might see a lot of those dwarf angels and maybe even a large angelfish, but if you're looking to keep angels like the Korean and the French angel, you definitely need to have a fowler tank because they are not reef safe. Now this next group of fish is another one of my favorites and that would be the boxfish. You could have ones like the cubicus, which are, like their name suggests, a little cube that's bright yellow with black polka dots, or you could have one like I keep and that would be the longhorn cowfish. Now, a lot of these guys are considered to be reef safe with caution, and I know people that have kept them in reef tanks with no problem, but I've also had the personal experience that when my cowfish was young, he didn't mess with corals at all. He wasn't even tempted. But as he's gotten older, he's about eight years old now, um, he goes after every single coral that he finds, even ones that they're not supposed to go after, like some of the mushrooms. So whether or not you want to have that risk is entirely up to you, but I think they're a perfect candidate for a fowler tank. All right, moving on, another group of animals that would be great to keep in a fowler tank are crabs. Now, I'm not talking your standard cleanup crew, but I'm talking some of those unique oddball species that you see pop up every now and then in your store. Now, before, it used to be only cleanup crews, but occasionally you'll find ones like the red hairy hermits or even some of the more common decorator crabs. They are fascinating to watch, but they're not reef safe. Like the name decorator suggests, they are going to go around your tank and they don't discriminate. They'll pull little bits of whatever they think is good looking and will help them to blend in and put them on their carapaces. So it could be your zoas, it could be bits of substrate or even some shells. Not that good for a reef tank, but perfect for a fowler tank. All right, another group of fish that you might want to be keeping in a fowler tank is butterfly fish. Sure, there's some that you can keep in a reef tank, but ones like the pearl scale, the spot fin, and the raccoon are perfect to keep in a fowler tank. You can enjoy them just as much, and don't worry about whether or not they're eating your expensive corals. Another group of fish that you might be keeping in a fowler tank would be some wrasses. Again, these are some that you also see in reef tanks, but there's a whole group of wrasses that are considered not reef safe. 
The reason is because they might eat some of your corals, they might nip at rocks. A lot of times it's because they're a good deal larger and they're perfect for those fowler tanks. So wrasses like your Formosa and your Leertail, those are perfect for the fowlers. Moving on to one of our last groups of fowler fish is the file fish. Now you might be familiar with the Aptasia eating file fish who occasionally will go after some of your polyps, but the file fish like the colored file and my favorite, the tassel file, make excellent addition to any fowler tank. Now this last group are considered to be reef safe with caution and the reason for that is because they'll either eat some of your cleanup crew, they might eat the smaller fishes, or they just might knock stuff down. And that would be the angler fish. Now those are really fun to watch and honestly if it were me I'd keep them in a smaller fowler tank and upgrade as they get larger. Another group is eels. Eels, I've known people to keep them in reef tanks, but some species actually get to be fairly decent in size. And as they grow, and even when they're young, they're kind of clumsy, which means they're gonna knock into rocks and they may even bump over some of your corals. Nobody wants that. Another thing about eels is they don't always have the best eyesight, so they may end up eating some of your smaller reef fish, which again, is a great reason to keep them in a fowler tank. Now this last group of fish is the groupers. I know a lot of people that get some of the groupers when they're super small and they think that they're gonna be beautiful fish, but as they grow, anything that will fit in their mouth is likely to be food, which means they are better suited for the Valor tank and not so much for your reef tank as they're gonna eat a lot of your smaller fishes. All right, guys, I hope this video has given you a whole bunch of different ideas and maybe inspired you to set up a fowler tank so that you can keep one of these incredible animals in a tank and not worry about any corals getting eaten. I'm curious to know though, if you have a fowler tank at home, leave a comment, let me know what your favorite species is to keep and bonus points, if you send me a photo, I would love to see the kind of animals that you are caring for. All right, this has been Hillary for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.